<laughs> well, it looks like Deadpool's a little constipated. Hey, welcome back to Tripod's Garage. Are you using a resin 3D printer? And are you printing out small parts like this? But washing it in something as big as this? I mean, that doesn't really make much sense, especially economically. It's, no, I, I don't get it. Well, Congro has a solution for us. They sent me their mini ultrasonic cleaner. Oh, isn't that great? Now, this cannot be used with IPA. I repeat, cannot be used with IPA. Otherwise, it'll be attending your next wiener roast, which I suggest just using um, distilled water or maybe even Mean Green Cleaner. Now, Mean Green Cleaner has been used throughout the community for a long time. It's basically like $5 a gallon. It's less toxic, has a more pleasant of an odor, so to speak, and it works great. So those two I would suggest using in something like this. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it's all about. All right, so let's hop to it. Get it? Hop to it? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. All right, let's go ahead and open this. Well, you get your your service card here. It basically says, hey, you know, if you have a problem with your order, we want, we want to make it right. So always like a company that stands behind their products. Thumbs up from me. Let's go ahead and open the rest of this up. Ooh, what do we got here? Ah, we got some bamboo tongs. I suggest once you start using this for taking your parts out, don't like use this for your buffet or anything. It's solely now for that purpose. Well, this is in a air-filled plastic chamber thing, and it's well protected. And we have some type of soft plastic covering it. Oh, look at that, ultrasonic manual. It's very thin, and it's basically one button operation. So let's uh, go ahead and take the lid off and see what's inside. Well, you have a tinted lid on here. I guess that's for privacy reasons. You don't want your uh, parts to be exposed. Then you have a ultra fine fiber cloth here. Ooh, that's definitely will feel good on those small parts. What's this curved thing? Ah, all right, you know what? I think I know what that's for. Ah, yeah, you, you can wash your, or, you know, your watch on it. I probably wouldn't do that with an you know, Apple Watch, but, you know, if you have anything else that's waterproof, you could use this for that. That's pretty cool. Then you have your little basket here for all your small parts, you know, and then you have your stainless steel basin here, and it has a max fill line. I would assume that you would have everything in there and then fill it up. That way you don't overflow, and you have a single button operation. Now it's time for a little photo shoot. Remember, safety first. First, let's get on some tinted safety glasses. Nothing like stop. All right. Now, we're going to get on a mask. Yep. We want to be safe when we're handling this resin stuff. And then after that, uh, doctor, doctor, here I come. Yes, yep. Let's get these rubber gloves on. Snap. And what about the left? Up. Oh, there we go. All right. Now we're ready for surgery. Now I'm using a water washable resin. Now for this, I would suggest using lukewarm water, uh, preferably something like distilled water, or you could use the Mean Green Cleaner Degreaser instead. Now I decided to print out two figurines here, or action figures, or statues, whatever you want to call them. I decided to go with the Mandalorian and Deadpool. Not too bad. Uh, lots of supports here. So let's see. Let's go ahead and break this off. Wow. Wow. That came off really quickly. Let's see if the Mandalorian comes off easy as well. Oh, look at that. Film editing. Gotta love it. It actually took me a long time to get those parts off. Let's go ahead and put the build plate back on. Just loosely tighten it. Now you can take your wife's favorite toothbrush and we're going to just uh, loosely clean these parts. You don't need to do this, but I'm going to just go ahead and take the water because this is water washable. And we're going to just uh, get these rinsed off a little bit. found it pretty difficult to remove the supports off these little statues, figurines, action heroes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, we'll get right back to this. One eternity later. Just like that, they're done. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and fill up this uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Again, you would use it with our cleaning chemicals that you're supposed to. I'm using water for mine. And look at that. Ooh, it's floating. Uh, how long will it flow for? Oh, remember in science class. Oh, we'll just get a little help. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and drop in. Oh, Mandalorian, you're in first. Doink. And Deadpool. Yes. And doink. Pressing the button gives you a five minute timer. Any more time? Just go ahead and press it again. Jim, we're down to 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes, so let's get first Deadpool out. He's looking rather clean. Get a little bit of a close up there. Not too bad. All right, now it's time for the Mandalorian. Looking good. Okay. Man, this uh, water is pretty darn dirty. Ah, well, they look pretty darn clean to me. Let's uh, get a closer look, shall we? Let's take a look at Deadpool. Yeah. It looks uh, nice and shiny, and uh, up. Oh, yep, yeah, he's no longer constipated. All the resin came right out. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the Mandalorian. Yep, yeah, looking pretty clean as well. So, pretty good detail. Well, let's take a look at this water again. You can see when I first uh, put the water in how nice and clear it is. I say does a pretty good job. We are going to now pour out the wash and dispose of per manufacturer's guidelines. As you'll see, there is some residue behind. We're going to just take like a shop towel or something and uh, wipe it down with alcohol and it cleans right up. Now we're going to just cure both of them, the Mandalorian and Deadpool in the UV light. Let's uh, get a bear a treat. We're going to wash our hands first, of course. He's been a good boy. Sometimes you just can't leave kids alone, can you? Fatality. Well, they're all done. They're cured and ready for priming and painting, if you so choose. There you have it. Congro's Ultrasonic Mini Parts Cleaner. Well, it did work. Hey, hey, clean Deadpool's rear end. If it could clean Deadpool's rear end, you know it should work. Uh, it's very simple in design. It has one button in the front. It's a five minute timer. If you want to, you could to clean more. You just hit the button again for another five minutes. It comes with a microfiber towel and some bamboo tongs. It comes with your little basket and a, um, I guess that's a, a band holder for your watches if you so choose. However, with that being said, and that kind of reminds me of something. I could, no matter how well I clean it, I could still smell like the resin on it. So I would suggest if that you decide to clean printed parts in this, it should just be print for printed parts after that. So I th think no matter how, how well you clean it, he still may have some residual resin left behind. So I would suggest if you are using it for fine jewelry, keep it for fine jewelry. If you're gonna use it for resin parts, keep it for resin parts. So um, with that being said, the only thing I would suggest is that this, this stainless steel basin that this has in here, I think this should be removable with some handles and you could lift it up and then pour it because otherwise you take this whole thing and you pour it out and then once if you pour it slowly it's gonna just drip along the edge like it did with for me I don't want to pour it fast and have it splash everywhere so I hope they take uh, this little bit of vice I have and maybe introduce this in the next model but uh, that's really all I have for this I worked out of the box just as expected so I really appreciate you tuning in to Tripod's Garage. If you could please like and subscribe, that would be great. And I wish you a very happy day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again, and tune in the next time.